To finish up this example, we're asked to determine the break-even point graphically by solving the equation p of x equals 0, explaining our work and showing the graph with appropriate labels. So let's use our graphing calculator and let's go to our y equals and if there's anything in your list go ahead and clear that out. Also make sure that your plot 1 is not highlighted. If it is you need to move your arrow up to the plot, hit enter and then move back down to unhighlight because that turns on your stat plot which we do not want. Alright, so if we're asked to solve the equation p of x equals 0, what we are doing is we are working graphically with the same equation that we solved algebraically in part d. So what I'm going to do is write out the equation that I'm going to solve and then in the calculator I'm going to let the left hand side of that equation be y1 and the right hand side be y2. So into y1 I'm going to enter 5.15x minus 1500 and then into y2 I'm going to enter 0. So what I want to do is to see where those two graphs intersect and that should give me the same result that I found in part D. Before we go through the intersection process on the calculator we're going to need to address the window values and I'm going to be looking at x min, x max, y min, and y max. So I'm going to write here some values and try those out for x min and x max. Remember that x represents the number of deliveries that I make per month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let x min be 0 because it makes sense that the smallest number of deliveries I'd make in a month would be 0. I'm not going to make negative deliveries. There was nothing that indicated a maximum number of deliveries. I know from part D that my break-even should be this 292. So I'm going to go ahead and just let x max be 500. That's just a reasonable guess for a reasonable window. So I have x min is 0 and I want x max to be 500. I'm going to skip over x scale, leave it at 1, and go down to y min and y max. y min is my smallest output that I'm concerned with and in this case we kind of already found out that when the input is 0 the output is negative 1500 so I'm going to make my y min less than negative 1500 to be sure that I can see where this graph crosses the y-axis and actually what I can do it varies on the problem but I'm going to go ahead and make this right at negative 1500 so that the window that we have in our calculator gives us like a little box around the values that are important for this problem. So you can either do the negative uh, 1500 or you can do something a little bit smaller like I had before. Either one will work. Now for y max I'm going to need to make some assumptions about my profit. I know my profit is 0 when x is 291 and I'm going up to 500 for x. So I could do some computations or I could just take a reasonable guess of say 1000 or 1500 or something like that. So let's put these numbers in for our y min and then y max. We can always make adjustments if we need to. So I'm going to press graph to be sure that I can see all the important parts of the graph, which are the places that the graph crosses the vertical axis and the places that the graph crosses the horizontal axis. So those are very important points and I can see both of those here. I also can see a good shape of the graph so I have an idea of how it travels as my number of deliveries increases. So this is a really great window. I'm going to stick with this. To identify the intersection, I'm going to go through the calculate process, second, or excuse me, second calculate, and I'm going to work with calculate intersect, which is number five. 
then I'm going to press enter. And the first question the calculator will ask me is, is this y1, which I have 5.15x minus 1500, is that my first curve? The answer is yes, so I press enter. Is my second curve y2 equals 0? Well, that's on the horizontal axis because that's the equation of the line y equals 0. Yes. The guess doesn't really matter. I'm just going to press enter. And that's going to give me the same value for intersection as what I had over here in part D. So I'm going to pause the video for a minute and I'm going to make a good graph of this situation. I'm going to put it in the space here. You might want to pause the video as well, make your own graph, and then check it with the one that will appear. So when you when you draw your representation of the graph, you're going to want to include the vertical and horizontal axis with their labels. So this one is x, which we know represents number of deliveries each month. The vertical is profit. Label the intersection that we're looking at, which is the intersection of the horizontal axis and <clears throat> our profit function. We want to know where that equals zero, which is what we found here. So this is our ordered pair that goes with the intersection. Then we need to make our rounding estimate So and write our final answer as a complete sentence. We would need to make 292 deliveries each month to break even.